I'd like to welcome you to another video by Ferros Technology. Today we're going to discuss Grammarly, a software package that's found at www.grammarly.com and show you how it can be used for, for your benefit in Word and show you how easy it can be to use. I'm going to show you the free version today. You can purchase a version that does more checking than just grammar, punctuation, and spelling. You can pay then $144 a year for that, or $30 a month, or $60 per quarter. But I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to show you what you can get just by logging in and creating an account and using the basic features. So I have a document here that is the 1911 Heat Wave. Now it's written by a, an author that was writing for the Hartford Current back in 2014. And it's about a heat wave that actually occurred in 1911. So right, right at the beginning, he uses the word heat wave as two words. And Grammarly feels that it should be a single word, heat wave. So if I want to correct this and just say heat wave, all I have to do is come over here and click the word heat wave here. It corrects that one and goes to the next one. And so I can click over here and it'll scroll down to the place that it exists in the document and I can click the word heat wave and it does it again and I'll change the word heat wave and so here it talks about word choice what words should you use in the sentence it reads the steel mare steel gray mare that staggered and fell downtown well that's kind of an awkward sounding sentence so what they say here is when I click on it they say just get rid of the word that so if I do that, now the sentence reads a little more clear and it says the steel gray mare staggered and fell downtown. Fell dead downtown. Okay, that sounds a little bit better. So what we can do is continue to work through this one at a time. And as we do that, it can, it, it'll go through. And notice on the right hand side, it gives us an overall score. It says we're at about 85% good on this particular article. There's, but there's 26 more alerts to correct spelling, grammar, and punctuation. There is, is at least one more, um, one more check for clarity. So as we go down here, engagement is a premium item. So if we clicked on it, it'd give us a suggestion to go premium here. Or if we went down here to delivery, the kind of delivery we get. Now it gave us a rating on both anyway. Uh, so the delivery and engagement were still pretty good despite the suggestions. But it does tell you down here that if we had premium, we'd get 74 more suggestions of ways that we could improve this, the style of the writing. So now what I want to show you is, you know, we could import the document into Grammarly onto their website as we did here. And if we do that, we can check the spelling here and afterwards it would actually save the document once again and in saving the document it would keep it would adhere to the formatting it would put it in word format again and it would be able to you know be used just like we expected to when we first imported it so let's go ahead and see what it looks like if we actually used grammarly in word so i'll open the actual document and opening the actual document, here's the way it looked before I imported it into Grammarly. And so if I actually made sure Grammarly was working, it has 34 suggestions. And notice it finds Heatwave again. And so here, all we have to do is float the mouse over it. And it will give our suggestion. We float the mouse down to the word and we click on Heatwave. And here's another one. We click on heat wave and another one. I find this a little bit faster than actually importing it into the, into the website. First of all, you don't have to import it into the website. It's embedded right here. And here's this little icon here that tells us that there's 31 more items that we can go ahead and check on as we go through this document. Okay. So what can happen here is this, if we click on this little button here that says we've got 25, we can, we can see right here, it takes us to where this highlight is. And it says that this word under muslins ought to be two different words. And so we can accept that. So you see how it can 
allow you to go through the document fairly quickly and correct all those errors. And then all you have to do is hit the save button. I've got 21 more errors that I can go through. And um, I don't think I'll bore you with the, the details there. So I would suggest if you, if you like Grammarly and you like it better than the grammar checker and spell checker that Word has natively in their software, you can have another option so that you don't have to actually use Word if you don't like how they, how they present. I hope you enjoyed this video and I sure hope you'll join me again later. Thanks.